Hi everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. New Year's Day, January 1st, 2022. The big storm outside is rolling in, 48 inches. It just started snowing here. Uh, so we decided to shoot, uh, well we got three boxes today. Mm -hmm. All right, my son Cam, Kabawabi here is uh, with me. Check out his new video. He had a bit of a critique on uh, Book of Boba Fett, I believe, and some more gameplay videos. So check his channel out at Kabawabi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh-huh. You can use more than two syllables today, son. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. So, um, I don't know, you want to go first? Sure. All right, why don't you go first? You lift the lid, see what's in here. All right. Captain Planet. Oh. Everybody's hero. Well, people do collect them. Looks like a, just a oh, giant another, box full. Yeah, another different version of Captain Planet there. What are these? Planeteer... Oh, power rings. I don't I don't remember those I at like all. I like this uh, Iron Man armor that Captain Planet has. Yeah, <laughs> I got another one of those too. Boy, that is, holy smokes, that must be all. This and it is like, oh, this is oh there, that's the first non-Captain Planet, isn't it? Yeah, what's his name? Oh, Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Glow in the dark too. So there's another Duke and another Duke. And look at this, surprise. Another Duke Nukem. Uh, Arctic. Oh, the Arctic Captain Planet. Well, you could have used him right now. So this was, I don't know if you can see that or not, 1991 uh, is when this one came out, uh, TBS Productions. And uh, I do remember the, uh, the show. Which one is that? The Wheeler. The Wheeler. Some of these box, or, uh, yeah, boxes are a little rough, like I'm. Here. I've seen that. They've got uh, got a lot of. I don't know if that's price tag damage. I've seen a few of those with that. Matty. Classic. And I'm not even going to make a prediction as to their value because if you guys watched the last video where I had the Transformers and the uh, the He-Man New Adventures, and I thought all oh, those He-Mans are 15 to 25 bucks a piece. And I've been selling them for, uh, what, 150 175 So yeah. shows you what I knew on that one. So I'm not going to make any predictions on this one at all. This is like a movie steal? Yep, that's Shaq. So oh, let's really? see. Yep, that's Shaq as uh, John Henry Irons, 1997. And there's, a, I think it's the same figure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it looks like it. But, uh, yep, that's Shaq under there. And, okay, we're getting some different stuff now. Well, these are Marvels. X-Men, X-Force. Oh, Shatterstar. Shatterstar 3. Gorgon. These are from 96. Cameron Hodge. No, I didn't I didn't name you after him. That's good. He yeah. looks a little Yeah, he's, he is. Oh, oh, there's another steal with uh, Shaq. Another, another one. Okay. And it looks like there's another one. This is Lieutenant Sparks. Vapor Trail Steel. Interesting. And, oh, I like these. Flash Gordon. Uh, boy, that animated series from the 80s, I don't think this is it, was really rocking. This is 1996. It's a Hasbro piece. I'm a huge Flash Gordon fan. And I don't think I've ever, uh, I don't think I've ever had these, so I might have to hang on to these. Got two Dale Ardens. Any, any Flashes, though? Doesn't look like Princess it. Princess Thundar and two Dale Ardens. Oh, I hope I find more of those. Mm -hmm. So, uh, wow, quite a few figures. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Looks like we got twenty-eight figures. So that's uh, that's a pretty full box. That's, that's quite the pack. Yeah, I think that's probably the most we've ever pulled out of uh, a box so far. So I'm going to stop the tape just a sec. We'll get these packed up and we'll get on to box number two. Okay, here's box number two. Now, on the end of the box in the writing over on this side, it says "Last Action Hero," which doesn't thrill me. Um, I can't make this out. Two, oh, two alien queens. Oh, that could be good. Uh, but it says, what does that say, Cubby? Can you read oh, it? Oh, wrestling. Yeah, WCW and WWF wrestlers. And then uh, Lego. I can't read it. Something Recon Voyager. Special Recon Voyager. 
Special Recon Voyager. So, you know, we haven't really been batting a thousand on what's on the box, box lid, yeah. so I'm not holding my breath. But boy, let's go find out. This could be a really good box. I don't know. I, did, I just saw that when we were putting it up here. And that's not anything that was on the list. No. Uh, mask, which is actually a, a good good property. Um, still sealed sticker album. Ten packets of colorful cartoon stickers with sticker album. What year? Oh, wait. There's two of them. Oh, okay. They're stuck together, but there's, yeah. That one's got a little little tear in it, but, oh, you know what? It doesn't. It must have been the one below it. That's just a, a hanger on her here. Weird. I was looking for a year, but I it's all covered up, I think. And, nope, I don't see a year on them. There it is, 1986. Wow. So, 1986. That was neat. Spiral Zone Thermal Attack Suit. Like a G.I. Joe? It, it sure looks like. It says Tonka, though. It's Tonka on the bottom, but not at all familiar with those. 87. Uh, these are a little older. Oh, oh there well, you go. Masters of the Universe. And that looks like the first series. Yep, 1984. Um, I'm not even going to guess. It's, it's, it's new. Oh, there's another one. Cards are rough, but they're the real deal. Haven't seen anything yet that was on the box lid, have we? No. Nope. Not even bummer. Uh, here's a legit G.I. Joe accessory pack. Jungle Patrol. That's 90s, I'm sure, isn't it? I'm looking here. Yeah, 93. Here's Arctic Assault. Oh, I could probably use that today. <laughs> Low temperature of 8 below tonight. That that's, doesn't include the windshield. More Spiral Zone Tonka. Not. I'll have to do some research. Oh, there we go. Another Master of the Universe. Always take the Motu, a little, uh, little bit of toning on there. So, boy, I don't know where to start. That's looking really good in there, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to spoil it. There's another one. So, again, a little toning on the bubble, but it's all there. Um, I guess we'll, we'll go this route. Classic collection. George Patton. Oh, i got to look at this. This should just, yep, flip open. And there he is. You got a cute little dog there. He, oh yeah, yep. He liked his dogs and his ivory handled pistols, and he was actually an Olympian in the pistol shooting contest. Um, pretty colorful character. What year? What year is that? Ninety-seven. Is that what that says? Your your eyes are younger than mine. Isn't it? Yep, ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. All right. So that's a neat set. Here's something I haven't had a lot of. Another mask. Nice. Toy, Vampire, and what year is that? Let's see. I assume it's late 80s, but it's not telling me. Well, I don't know. Probably in the same neighborhood as the other ones, I would think. It says 86. 86? Boy, it's nice to have good eyes. Ghostbusters Ecto-3. What is that? Uh, is that a little mini toy? Yeah, it's just a, a vehicle. See, there it is. There it is on the back. Um... Yeah, a couple. We went with the animated series, not the, uh, so it says Real Ghostbusters, which is technically the second animated series uh, on that. And those are all still sealed. And what is this? Good. Food Fighters. That is awesome. <laughs> Fry Chopper. Never heard of it. That's kind of like a wacky package is kind of looking. out of mad. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. Mattel. Yeah, it's it's the real deal. Let's see. Oh, see the year on it down there? 88. That was a great year. Graduated from high school that year. Met your mom just a few months before that. You don't want to hear that mushy stuff, though. Okay, Masters of the Universe. Stridor in the box. Two of them. Oh, this is Night That's Stalker. That's Night Stalker, so a different different character. The flaps are bent down, but they're attached, so there's a crease there, but I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker. And, oh, Action Sailor. I just listed some of the Action uh, 40th Anniversary Collection figures um, that came complete with these. This is the separate separate outfits the for them. The 30th Anniversary. Oh, is it? I think so. Is that what's up here? It says 64 oh, to 94. Oh, it sure did. 
Sure did. So this was even older yet. I thought it was part of that same year, but it's not. Um, but that's the Frogman set. Let's see, we got a Frogman. Up oh, there's the Marine Paratrooper on that one. And Action Soldier. An Action Soldier. Yep. So that's all that's all pretty cool. That was a pretty darn good box, I think. Uh, especially with those uh, Masters of the Universe. Um, okay, we're going to get this packed up and see if we can keep the uh, hits rolling on box number three. This is pretty good. Okay, and here's the third box. So, so far we've had G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Mask, Captain Planet, steel. some steel, a uh, little bit of what? Um, Flash Gordon was in there. Ghostbusters. So, Ghostbusters. So let's see what we can do do on this one here. Okay. Well, all right. So here's, it's not the worst one out there, but um, another McFarlane action figure. Um, wet works. I don't know. I have trouble selling them. They're nice figures, but there didn't seem to be a lot of interest right now in them. Here's Looney Tunes, which uh, probably not high dollar. I've had some of these before. This one looks old. Yeah, I think they're, I don't think any uh, of these are new. So. Yeah, this is 89 here. Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. There you go. Everybody needs that cassette player uh, speaker and tape. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. That was high tech back in the day. Well, we got two of those. Yep. And I've got another uh, Wild Stallions Jam Session two pack. I've had a, I've had a couple of those. Um, Actually, this might be a little different version on it, but uh, I don't know. I think it's neat stuff. Don't have a lot of interest in it, but kind of cool if you're a Keanu fan. Speaking of which, there we go. So there's Ted, and I'm betting this is Bill. Well, look at that. Got and Bill. What is what is that? Phone booth. Oh, that's the phone booth. Capture historical dudes with the snapback phone. Uh, yeah, man, that brings back a lot of memories. I think this is actually the one good piece in here, or at least, you know, best piece in here. And that is the G.I. Joe, and this must be the 30th again, because it had the same markings as those uniforms. And it's got, what, five, five figures? Five figures. A commemorative edition. Let me see if I can find... Is there a year on that anywhere? I imagine it's 94, because that's the year on the front. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, too. Yeah, it must be. I don't see any other markings on it. Uh, complete, sealed, uh, large piece, so shipping's going to slow down interest in this, because it'll cost a little bit to ship. But, uh, overall, that was, that was a pretty good set of three yeah. boxes. So, between uh, Christmas special and the New Year's Day special, we're doing pretty good. We should just open up these <laughs> on just on holidays, I think. Yeah, uh, so, well, I can't do that. I got too many of them. Uh, so that's it for uh, these three. I've got an office renovation uh, update video out there. If it's not listed by the time you see this, it will be very shortly. Uh, it's coming up soon. Uh, we'll do some more box openings. Eh, depending on the weather, that might slow things down. Um, but check those out. And uh, check out our other, uh, what do we got? CGC videos. Got some card box opening videos. Mm -hmm. So a lot of fun stuff out there if you're snowed in like we're going to be here and, and bored. Uh, just tune us in and uh, thanks for watching.